Hey guys, uh, what's up? Welcome to this tutorial. I mean, actually not a tutorial, but a review on the newest Camtasia Studio 7. As you notice, this is the new Camtasia Studio 7. So, uh, it looks pretty nice. Um, the new updates on it, um, the icons are still the same. Uh, if you go to it, and their start menu it just looks all the same. The new stuff about it is compatible with Windows 7, of course, with those arrows pointing there. Um, a bit of new upgrades, new kind of look, and it's pretty good. They added some new features to it. Um, they got a bunch here picture in picture, captions, quizzing. The number one here is cursor effects, callouts. They have new callouts and a bunch of new stuff in it. So um, if you guys want to get it, just go to camptasiastudio.com, which is this page. As you notice, it com it shows the new thumbnails about it. Uh, you can go and go to the product tour when you go there. Uh, what's new in it, um, it shows here, library, copy and paste, YouTube upload, enhanced callout. So I'll show you that. They have sketch motions callouts, which is popping up right now. If you notice the arrow right over here, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, precision volume controls edible cursor effects which makes my mouse go like this so you guys see it right now it has a sleek new interface and yeah gets it done and also when you record it's less laggier so they made it much more easier or more easier uh, yeah so yeah um, so if you want to get it let me just show you a bit of what's new in it okay uh, if you want to drag in a video you can just go to file and go import media or library so if you just want to import some stuff just go to it let me go to my videos uh, that I guess uh, that one oh wait here I'll put in this one add it in and they have a new thing popping up when you add in the video of course you drag it into the timeline once it's dragged in they have the new and compact editing dimensions window so of course the new new YouTube size is 1080p so 1920 by 180 but uncheck the box to keep aspect radio ratio so uh, 1920 by 180 click OK now of course everybody has these issues of like the whole some of it is black on the sides well they fixed that on Camtasia Studio 7 what you have to do is start from the per uh, choose an area where you want to put it of course I'm going to choose the first part of the video click on zoom and pan and you right click on the window over here click on snap to video edges and there you go it's widescreen and it's pretty good so yeah that's pretty much about it uh, they have the new tabs here cursor effects which makes the cursor light up mouse cursor vi visible and you have to do keyframe by keyframe so yeah you get to do all of that they got transitions they're all still the same from the sixth version uh, they got callouts of course if you go to shape under callout and you put it in the place where you want it click this drop down box you get to choose a sketch motion and they have a bit of specials blur callout highlighter and a bunch more when you can load an image and whatnot so if I click this and I just drag it like that and you leave it alone don't click add callout you just click go and click on clipman and then you just start from the first part of it let it play and you see it sketch like that it's laggy right now but when you render it, it should be good so this is pretty good it's pretty awesome and yeah that's a bit of new stuff in it and it's pretty good so I suggest you guys get the newest version uh, you have to pay for it for the real one but there's a 30 day trial so go ahead and get it at the site of course camtasiastudio.com Thank you for enjoying this video on this new program from techsmith.com. Goodbye.